It was the biggest college football weekend yet this season as the SEC made its return. But first, we begin with a Sun Belt showdown between the Georgia Southern Eagles and 19th ranked Louisiana. This game came down to the final seconds. Our big Frank was there and has the highlights. Heartbreak on the bayou for the Georgia Southern Eagles. It looked like Georgia Southern was going to knock off a ranked Sun Belt opponent for the third straight year. However, the Raging Cajuns with a walk off field goal win here at Cajun Field. Let's go ahead and take a look at the highlights. Sunbelt opener and first road game of the season for Georgia Southern. Late first quarter, scoreless, but Eagles soaring on offense. Shy Wirtz throwing for Wesley Kennedy the third. Welcome back, kid. Big 61-yard pass and catch going to lead to the first score of the game. Comes early in the second quarter. Handoff going to J.D. King. Two-yard touchdown run going to give Georgia Southern the 7-0 lead. Cajuns going to respond. Trey Rag is going to get the call. He's going to go 10 yards for the touchdown, tying the game at seven. The Georgia Southern defense makes sure that's all Louisiana going to get in the first half. The pass down the middle going to be picked off by Raynard Ellis. Game going to remain tied at seven at the half. Third quarter, Eagles going to retake the lead on the 29-yard field goal by Alex Rayner. That made it 10-7 Eagles. It's 10-10 in the fourth quarter, and this is when this contest gets wild. Cage is going to grab the lead on the 27-yard touchdown pass from Levi Lewis to Errol Rogers with the point after it was 17-10 Cajuns. Mid-fourth quarter, it looks like the Eagles going to draw even worse to tight end Bo Johnson, who makes the catch, avoids a tackle, tight ropes the sideline, but as he stretches for the end zone, he loses the ball. It goes out the back of the end zone, and that's a touchback. Back, given Louisiana the ball back. But Georgia Southern going to get another shot with a little over a minute left in the game. Wirtz throwing to the end zone. Take a look at the grab from Caleb Hood. What a catch. Eagles pulled it within one. Georgia Southern opts to go for two. And just take a look at Wirtz. Avoids the pressure. Rolls. Gets the ball to Darion Anderson who makes the catch. Eagles convert on the two-point conversion. Georgia Southern grabbing the 18-17 lead. But the Cajuns going to move down the field, and with two seconds left, Nate Snyder, who's two for six on field goals this season, going to nail the walk-off game-winning 53-yard field goal heartbreak for the Eagles. Georgia Southern's upset bid coming up just short. Raging Cajuns with the 20-18 to win. We said it was going to have to be a 60-minute dogfight. Uh, that's what it turned out to be. Um, and we said the toughest team would win, um, and they made one more play than us. Um, we had our chances, uh, didn't capitalize when we could have. Uh, but I talked to them about we have it in us. Um, I mean, we just took the number 19 team, you know, to the wire and could have won it, you know. But an L is an L, just like when we beat Campbell by one, uh, that was a win, you know. So um, we got to start over tomorrow. I told them, hey, we got to reset, got to go on to the next one. Um, you, we can't do nothing about this one now and uh, got to go back to work tomorrow and uh, get ready for ULM. Georgia Southern dropping to one and one on the season. They'll return to Louisiana next weekend to face Monroe. Reporting in Lafayette, Louisiana, Frank Solkowski, WJCL 22 News.